Welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura and this surprisingly is a video in English. I haven't done one in a while but I'm going on a trip with my two best friends and one of them can't speak German so I feel like it might be smarter to do it in English. So I will take you along with me to Stockholm guys. I need to go to the airport. I will show you my little travel fit check which is like this white top and sweatpants and then I have my sweat on top which is fitting and it's really cool also please don't judge my german accent okay bye okay i'm here with my backpack and my big bag to put it in my friend's suit case at the airport because we're sharing one so i put all of my stuff in my little shopping bag I'm here with Seb, obviously, and our flight should be soon. -ish. as you can tell. Taking off soon. The next time I will talk to you, we will be in Stockholm. We just left. That's our plane! Yay! Let's go through border <laughs> control! We made it! Ah. We made it to the Aladdin Express. We got our tiny little ticket. And now we're waiting for the train to go to the city centre and then to our Airbnb. So here we have our little Airbnb, it's the door. When you come in, we have a table for three, a couch, little kitchen area, cute little things, even like a little coffee machine. And then this is the cute little bathroom and beds. Basically our Airbnb is for two people as you can tell, but we decided to book it anyways because we will take turns and one will sleep on the couch because yeah, that's what we needed to do to get a good price and a good place. Yay! So that's really nice. And like our plan is to basically, because today is Wednesday and Wednesday is like a not going out out day, but I feel like it's like a more going out day during the week in Sweden. That's at least what I learned by watching lots of videos. So our plan is to go to some bar or something. And we hope that there are at least some people because it's Wednesday. <laughs> so we will get ready a bit and then basically walk back to the station and go back to towards more like central area. So, okay, we bought gin at the airport. Yeah, <laughs> your bun is cute. Not going out like this. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking a little gin tonic now and then trying to figure out where we can go to. Oh, oh yeah, we bought this. Yay! <laughs> okay, friends, we also did buy some little crackers at the central station. And we will do a little taste test now, what they look like. We're not 100% sure if they're Swedish or not, but we'll do a taste test now anyways. Okay, Swedish or not, cracker taste test. Little kex mm -hmm. test. Ooh, I like it. I like it. They're so Very delicious. Sweet. It reminds me of something though. I think I've had this before in France, but it looks diff- like We got ready. And we will go to the city center now. We found two bars that are open until three. The rest apparently closes at one, which is a bit sad, but like we're going there now quickly because we're quite late. It's almost 12. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, amigos, 22 minutes. We're so used to London times. Yeah. <laughs> where like one train comes like every five minutes but also the worst thing is that we literally if we would have left five minutes earlier we probably would have catched the one before but oh well we will be in Gamla Stan like quarter to one or something and also we are checking out the co-op close to our station close to where we are so we can go and buy something tomorrow to eat <music> Shopping in the morning, buy breakfast and lunch and dinner. 
we are in Gamlestan. We already talked to two people and got recommendations for where to go to. And we also figured out that Wednesdays is, although it's called Little Saturday, apparently not the day to go out, whatever, in, in Stockholm because it's Literally dead. Clubbing. Yeah, I mean, and we don't want to go clubbing, which is the, the thing. So we will just walk around, explore a bit maybe, and then go back, I don't know. So we got at the most Swedish food right now. Max! <laughs> Sweden's most loved burger chain. And that was the only place that was still open. We didn't end up going to like a bar or anything. We literally just walked around at the night, looked at some <laughs> nice places. And then we were like, now we're hungry, now we're driving. Good morning, mean lila apelsins. <laughs> we're on our way to the supermarket with our little shopping bag, Rewe, to get like our food for the week or at least for the first few days. And it's actually way warmer than I thought it is, which is really nice. Like I'm not wearing a jacket. Our plan basically is because as you probably saw, I'm just here with Sam and Maria is coming later as well. Oh my voice. <laughs> She's only arriving at like three or so. And until then we will basically go shopping and then we want to check out like the lake that's so close to here. And then she comes to our little Airbnb and then we'll go to the city and do all the touristy stuff. Now it's shopping time. Also, look at all these very, very cute little houses. Like, look at this one. Oh my God. And like this, and like, oh my God, like this, ah, so cute. Shit clean. I'm such a Swedish pro. Bersina. After almost an hour, or maybe maybe 45 minutes, we made it out of the shop. And that was actually quite a tiny one, but obviously it's really nice to always check out what they've got in different countries. And I've got a big bag. And Seth also has got loads. I don't know where you are. <laughs> so much, like literally. We also got like some Swedish things to try, obviously. Side note, it is very expensive, right? Mm. It's like 40, it's like 45 40. euros for an iceberg lettuce. It's really funny because in England, all the healthy things like fruits and veggies are quite cheap, even compared to Germany as well. But here it's so expensive somehow, which is annoying because you want to be healthy, but then you need to spend so much more money. I just want to show you some cool things that we bought that we think are pretty Swedish that we will try over the course of the week. So here we go. First of all, we bought this. I don't even try to pronounce it. And then we got like these fluffy things. What else? The cinnamon rolls. Oh. Knack bread. And blueberry tea. Blue bear. More cookies. And we really wanted to try the canal vaso. Whatever thing. What else did we get? Here's a little overview. We did buy some milk for our coffees eggs avocado and like salami some chicken and like some veggies and this <laughs> mm, our first coffee our beautiful breakfast table breakfast um yeah breakfast <laughs> brunch <laughs> brunch yeah true so basically when we looked at the weather thing it says 17 18 degrees which definitely it probably is right now but we're literally walking around in tops and it's so warm somehow like way warmer than in london i think kind of fish at least it feels like it also look at our cool different outfit vibe like this looks so pretty and i'm literally just in my sweatpants but we're going to the lake now i will show you later and you literally fit like right in the scenery it's so cute with this girl more wing marks grand 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 more wing marks grand how do you pronounce that We 
time to chess. Look who just arrived! And now it's coffee time, of course, and we will try all the Swedish snacks we did buy earlier today. So we made it now, and we're going to the station. And basically, our plan is to go and see all the underground metro art thingies because it's Sweden's and I think also the world's longest art gallery. So that's what we're doing now. And we're starting with the station, which is the Östermalm Stad. Maybe I'll stop pronouncing the station names because it's questionable. <laughs> so here we have art by Siri Dirkert, which is like a Swedish artist. <laughs> this station apparently serves the Royal Institute of Technology, so the art apparently is science themed. That's what we at least read. Yes. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> Let's put like a thumbs up count when everyone like because I feel like I'm. Just... Now we're at the stadion, whatever, station, and it was open like in 1973, and it was like one of the first cave stations. And so basically the artists or like the people that created that were like scared that it would be like very like depressing because obviously like it's like in a cave. So basically they were like, oh, let's put rainbows. So it's like less depressing. So that's basically why they put rainbows. Um, which is really cool, I think. So I really do like the metro, which is so cute. blue because we are on the blue line i think that's why everything is blue and like upstairs there were like silhouettes yes thumbs up <laughs> and like upstairs there were like silhouettes of like people for the workers that built the station here Okay, so this station has apparently like a white, red and green color scheme and like all of these statues are from like demolished buildings <laughs> in Stockholm and they just put them here. To be fair, this is definitely the most creepiest station so far. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is there water? That's water. Apparently, there are also like spiders and like funguses in the station.
So we are basically we're walking around in the center along like the water kind of thing and I think now we're in like Norholm, Norholm, I don't know how to pronounce it. We are hungry so we just looked for like cheap, <laughs> cheapish food and we're like oh now let's go to a ramen place so that's what we're doing and then after that we will go to the ice bar which will be so much fun and so interesting. Let's hope it will be good. So our food was <laughs> the absolute like most amazing food ever. I mean, not like ever maybe, but it was definitely very, very good. And now we are going to the ice bar in the hotel. <laughs> We just left the ice bar, our hands and feet are very frozen but now we decided to go back, get like a nice tea and have a chill evening so that's the plan for now! Good morning everyone! Welcome to day 3 slash day 2 for Maria <laughs> So we are on our way to the Upper Museum, the best part of the week! We were on our little train and then it stopped at some random spot and now everyone needed to leave and we don't know what's happening because we obviously can't understand this but we'll just wait with the rest By the way, we needed to leave the train because they kind of stopped so now we need to find a different way and we're taking the ferry to Dear Gordon now of the ferry and it's so funny they have like a big amusement park roller coaster thing right in the city center but um now we're going to the other museum finally Oh, she can see it. Should I do Benny? Benny. Yeah. Yeah. Or the long hair? Okay.
left the ABBA museum and it was so, so good. Highly recommend going there, probably once in your life. <laughs> Yay, and now we're trying to find like a coffee or something. And what will we do then um, after the coffee? Walk around. We will walk around. <laughs> <laughs> We are on the Jur Gordon Island and it's like the greenest island in Stockholm, I think. And it's like also the museum island and everything, but we just decided to just go to the ABBA museum. And now, Sav and Maria are getting some ice cream, some glass or whatever it's called in Swedish. And then we will walk around like along the water, get something to drink as well. And yeah, it's nice and sunny and warm and it's really cool. Also, a little fun fact, I feel like I read somewhere, I think that Stockholm is the only capital that has like a national park in the middle of the city. Like I literally prepared so well for this trip, I wanted to go to Stockholm for a year now. So, which is really cool. coffee shop from some other museum and we got a little cappuccino and water and more cappuccino and a latte and a water we're like somewhere in the city center now <laughs> Okay, so guys, as you can tell, little outfit switches for today. We're going out in Stockholm, which is really fun. We're still not quite sure where we're going because we literally don't know. We're just like going to the center and then we will see where we can get in because like age is a bit funny here. It's like sometimes like 23 and we're all 22. So can you say yes again? <laughs> we learned a new thing. Yes means yes. That's really funny. It is not even 3.30 and like literally the sun is rising. It's like so random but like we're going home now so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 